considering that medicine is a vast subject uh, when did you start using the video lectures and uh, how i mean what was your approach how many days did you allocate sir i used uh, preparatory medicine lectures from like my final year so during the covid lockdown i had no other source to like study from so i stuck to your uh, video lectures sir hi guys uh, this is dr marva your educator from prep ladder and uh, it gives me immense pleasure today to introduce before you dr rupesh tholia uh, he is from uh, the city of temples uh, he is a graduate from aims bhubneshwar and uh, aaj uh, we'll be doing some quick uh, random fire questions with him and uh, congratulations doctor uh thank you so much for your wonderful intro sir it really feels great to be sharing a platform with you uh, you have been an inspiration throughout my uh, preparation so feels great sir uh okay doc uh, let's let's uh, be uh, a little funny at the moment jinka rank 3 are the people who get rank 3 do they ever bunk classes yes sir definitely sir i have bunked multiple times uh, it's a fun part of your college life sir i would say sometimes you need to bunk the classes uh, otherwise it will be too dull i guess okay yeah. and uh, did you ever put proxy for attendance yes sir multiple times sir proxies ka business is a give or take business so you have to put, put proxy for someone and in turn they put proxy for you so as i said okay. this is the fun part of your college life so i hope everyone <laughs> gets that feeling sir at okay. least one proxy wala yeah to so, jinka rank 3 aata hai unko kabhi fear hota hai do they ever have fear of failing uh yes sir definitely uh even before this neat pg i was really scared about kya exam hoga acha kar paunga nahi kar paunga you start doubting yourself but that is very natural like at some point you should have some fear of failure otherwise you will just be too lax you will be too relaxed <laughs> so some fear of failure is required but you shouldn't doubt yourself your your preparation your ability should not be doubting yeah. okay considering that medicine is a vast subject uh, when did you start using the video lectures and uh, how i mean what was your approach how many days did you allocate sir i used uh, preparatory medicine lectures from like my final year so during the covid lockdown i had no other source to like study from so i stuck to your uh, video lectures sir so i used to to finish like cvs uh, cvs i finished in around 4 to 5 days sir so i used to be like taking notes and then again revising your notes so it used to take around like 7 days i would say then i would solve the cube bank and all so that was my strategy sir and you i used to uh, as i said start with the, my weaker topics so i i always comparatively weaker in my cvs so i started with cvs then i proceeded to like uh, hepato hepatology and all so i get okay. that sir so like uh, i understand that you cannot allocate a particular number of days to a subject you keep a big a topic kar liya kabhi dusra topic kar liya but ek average like to a younger junior of to a junior of yours if he asks you that how many days should i allocate for medicine a rough figure a ballpark figure that you can give uh, so that depends on the stage of preparation he or she is in so if she is in like suppose final years i would say uh, 15 20 days or even a month is okay for medicine because uh, you should have strong concepts in a final year at least because that will help in your final props also and your vivas also and it gives a really good base for your neat pg preparation so you cannot skip for someone who is a post intern i would say uh, you should start with the, like the most important stuff first and then proceed to finish you should not be like too much dedicated to finishing a subject in entirety rather you should focus your uh, attention more on the topics that are repeatedly asked and uh, then maybe once you feel confident you can proceed to lesser important topics sir so that depends okay. otherwise your uh, uh, youtube lectures are they were also very good so they were also very helpful so, so for someone who is a post intern who has a basic knowledge of your like cvs cns he can first uh, watch those rapid revision videos and then proceed uh to maybe the actual lectures if he or she is not feeling confident enough so maybe that is a strategy i would like to tell at least that's what i did sir like okay so if we rewind let's say uh we go back to 5th march was the paper and we go back to 5th of february then what was dr rupesh doing on 5th february his 24 hour plan uh 
sir i would say <laughs> i used to wake up i used to waste a lot of time sir so on social media that i'll be really honest about uh i used to surf youtube a lot so maybe random videos rep rapid revision videos i used to find and of course with one rapid revision video you will see four to five entertainment videos also so that way i used to waste a lot of time but uh, i had a focus in mind that if i have to finish these subjects in my like this a week so i'll definitely finish them so even if i have to slog for like 12 to 14 hours i'll do that also so that way i was really focused but individually i would start my day maybe start with a, a revision session like what i'll revise one or two subject like the short subjects and all in which i was really confident maybe to uh, like psychiatry dharma they are relatively easier topics once you have a good hold on them so start with those short subjects then in the day time uh, maybe like read a cvs or maybe general surgery you can do then in the evening ka time you should allocate uh, entirely to the subjects you are completely weak in so maybe some watch some video maybe a rapid revision video so something like that so that's what sir so uh, any any figure you had for like number of mcqs that you need to do on a daily basis one month before the exam uh no sir i uh did not i wasn't caring more about the mcqs and gt scores you know honestly i was getting around 160 170 so that was okay for me because i knew uh, i can do much better because i wasn't focusing on like medicine and all medicine i started uh, reading only after 15th of february sir before that in the last 3 months i never read medicine because i knew i had good concepts from my uh, final year so even if i study in the last 5 uh, like after 15th i will be able to manage i will be able to score good in medicine so i wasn't allocating uh, time to surgery uh, med to medicine i was giving more time to surgery because i was weak in surgery so i wasn't focused about mcqs uh, because i knew the topics that i was weak in so if someone who doesn't know know uh, where to start from i would really suggest them to give some gts maybe solve some mcqs maybe make some custom modules and all so that you know the topics that you are weak in and then accordingly you can plan your studies so okay. that's the yes uh you said you used rapid revision videos as well so uh, when it comes to rapid revision i mean for uh, what what is your suggestion because now any set is very close and lot of your friends would be do you got a very very super rank but then lot of your friends may not have or maybe your juniors or maybe your colleagues would be asking this question that uh, if i have not started with medicine can i start with rapid revision would you suggest them to start with straight away rapid revision or would you suggest them to first go through some of the main videos what would be your uh, advice to them uh, sir if you have if you don't have basic concepts then i'll still uh-huh. say ki go through the videos uh-huh. first because in rapid revision uh-huh. most of the time we just skim through the important topics knowing that the uh-huh. child he may be aware of those simple facts so if you are really weak uh, in some subject i'll uh, honestly tell him or her to uh, just watch some videos of the topics that you are weak in and then maybe go for uh, rapid revision rapid revision are great for the last like 10 15 days they are really great because they cover a lot of syllabus in a much lesser time they cover the images also and everything else so you should uh, do the rapid revision but i won't recommend them as your primary source your primary source would be your videos would be your notes and uh, maybe in the last 15 days you can go with your rapid revision yeah okay so doc last question when you came out of this examination hall <laughs> paper khatam hua uske baad mein kya feeling thi sir i was feeling really confident i thought ki i would get at least 190 correct sir i was that confident <laughs> but when i came back i realized i had committed a lot of blunders like uh simple questions but i could not like read the question fully so i blundered a lot of questions sir uh, there were few tricky questions like everyone was telling colombo action plan and all so mm-hmm. fortunately those things were there in parks and i it just came across my mind that i should read that particular international health for all chapter from parks and mm-hmm. i read that and the colombo action plan showed up so when the when i saw that question i really felt ki i can do something in this paper so i really felt confident and after that everything just went smooth sir so i was re- really feeling confident but when i came back i checked a lot of recalls so then i was a little scared that i was still getting around 700 marks but i was scared because i had committed a lot of blunders so i thought others won't 
so maybe my rank will be very bad yes sir so that fear like was legit so maybe yep absolutely uh-huh. so rupesh yeah. it's been very nice talking to you and uh, very genuine things that you have told us about yourself and about everything uh, that you have said are, are very pertinent points that any aspirant should be following Yes. and uh, thank you so much for your time and uh, guidance for your junior sir as well yes, thank you so much sir. it's been a pleasure sir thank you subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from prep ladder